March 31st, such a somber day for me. I think we're going into our third week of quarantine here in the San Francisco Bay Area. Oh man. I remember when I first moved to Vegas in 2011, I used to work with this lady, her name was Yolanda. We used to call her Yo-Yo. And back then, she used to tell me about her young nephew from Crenshaw who did music, this guy named Nipsey Hussle. Which at the time, not knowing much about him or his music or where he was from, little did I know for me that would all change sooner than I would know. I remember that year, Nip and Cardi B being put up for uh, Best Rap Album of the Year award. I believe it was at the Grammys. And all I could remember thinking about after seeing Cardi win was what the hell were these people listening to? Um, you know, as far, I, I love Cardi B. I mean, that year even, I, I even bought her album. I loved her album. Um, but in, as a DJ, looking for context and substance, I'd have to say Nip was the better artist. Um, so I'm assuming that she won that year based on popularity and not on, because at the time I remember she had more hits on the radio, you know, for sure. And I think that was why everybody that year felt like Nip got robbed, robbed from that award. It was also this day that um, I remember waking up last year and thinking, man, it was just similar to today. You know, it was just such a beautiful day. And then I remember that's when we got the news that Nip was taken from us. And all I could really remember was feeling like, like a small part of me was now missing. You know, growing up on Tupac, listening to his poems, watching him in movies, listening to his music, you know, he influenced so much of my generation and who I am. Uh, to even then see that, you know, he was like the new Tupac of our generation. You know, for everything from giving a voice to people that didn't have one and just kind of keeping it real all the time. You know, the purest of the pure and uh, giving back to his community, you know, staying down with the ones who he came up with. Ironically, that being one of the things to come back to haunt him. Uh, it was a few days later, I remember I went to jail um, and when I got out, I got out uh, on April 8th, my 30th birthday. And I remember getting a FaceTime from my boy Germ. And he's like, hey, um, you know, I got my, my boys in town from LA and they're opening up for Gunna and their DJ missed his flight. Um, do you want to go do this show and sat? And all I could think about at the time was like, man, I had nothing. I said, let's run it. You know, I had half a tank of gas. I drove up to meet him in San Francisco. Uh, from there, he, he drove me to SAC. You know, I bought the album on the way on iTunes, so I'd have it on my computer when I got there. No rehearsal, no time. We go out, and this happened. <laughs> I get bored with just one bitch, man. I need two hoes, two hoes, two hoes, two hoes, two hoes. Got that chopper in the group, but I need two dogs, two dogs, two dogs, two dogs. Yeah, 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 yeah,
with me. She gon' hustle, get some dollars on the fucking floor. Uh, but OSB shit went all the way, you had dribble down to it. Bitch, stop playing. Yeah, everything on OSB, you did. that wouldn't have been possible. Los Angeles love, kinda like hustle and book. Money turned 10, cross turned two. Starting to see this life shit from a bird's view. We the ones that made millions off the curve, fool in this rap shit 10. Never made no move.